it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? This is Craft Farms here with another video. Today, we are going to be on ATS. Just finished hauling a load of recycled water uh, from Carlsbad to Sacramento. It was a 547 mile trip. We got $19,740 from it and 639 XP. <clears throat> so, what we're going to do is we're going to find a load here out of this place and... Uh, See what we can find here, and we'll get trucking. See, we got some seeds from Sacramento to LA. Uh, that's a little bit of a long trip. Uh, Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon Village. Okay. Out to Nevada with a load of soybeans. I think we'll head out to Nevada with some soybeans here. So we're going to go ahead and get the truck fired up. Oops, it was on. Okay. We got a hundred miles just to go get our load. It's a pretty hefty trip just for picking it up. So we got uh, about 1,400 miles on the truck right now. So we're definitely breaking her in. Oh, we're kind of speeding here a little bit. Heck with it, we'll go 60 here. Plow sitting on the side of the road. There wasn't a single car on this road when I was bringing the trailer, so... There was cars in the ditch, but uh, no cars, no cops, nothing. So really, we could, uh, we could roll here. Which I think we will, just that way it doesn't take forever just to go pick up our load. There are a couple of curves that you gotta slow down for, but uh, otherwise, this is a pretty nice road. Not much here. See, I'm hoping uh, today is Sunday. I'm hoping to get a bunch of videos recorded so that way I can just sit, edit a bunch of videos, and upload them, and then I can be all set for the week. I'm hoping to have everything edited and uploaded before Wednesday. So I got like three, four days to get all this edited and uploaded and recorded, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, the Christmas specials the Christmas specials and the ATS videos are going to be the longest ones uh, because, you know, the ATS videos, those go by the trip. And then the Christmas special, those will actually be, you know, a longer video uh, because it is a Christmas special, so... So here's one of those curves. It's actually a little easier going this way. So let's just see where in the world are we going here. Uh, we go back into Sacramento and go to Walmart. Wally World. I did not see the car sitting on the side of the road. I think I'm past where that car was. There's another tractor and plow. A couple of them. Airplane overhead. And yeah, there was a car stranded on the side of the road around one of the curves. Unless it's up here. Nah, it was back there a ways. There was a car stranded. Nobody in it, so. Couldn't even offer my assistance. Ooh, this one we better slow down for. Uh, we better start driving nice now anyways. And we're starting to come back into town. A 
another tractor. Definitely out in the middle of farm country. Forty XP for a hundred miles of free roam. There's a stop sign here. So there's a wrecked Peterbilt right here. Let's kind of stop and take a look at it. See what on earth happened to it. Ooh. Boy, he was in a bad wreck. Looks like. Goodness. Geez, we're going 60 miles an hour, 5 over the speed limit, and that FedEx truck is pulling away from us. Goodness. If you want to get ahead of us, you better get ahead of us. Because we need to switch lanes here. Oh, never mind. We need to get out of that lane. <laughs> we don't want to be in that one there. I thought that was just third lane here. It's only turning. So we got uh, 14 miles left, and then we can hook up and head out. Get our Jake brake on and ready. Whew, good that guy didn't clock us. Come on, guys, get moving. Ooh, yikes. I was trying to see if I could see the trailer. Ah, our trailer's out front here. There she be. Wonderful Wilson Hopper. Please call truck care. Ooh. Well, come on. Freight market. Oh, we can't configure it any. Got that, that, and that. Yep, we'll definitely take this guy here. How damaged is our truck? Oops, wrong button. F7. Ah, it's only 16%. We're not too terrible of shape except we can't see our speed now so maybe we will just hook up to our trailer here and we'll go well we'll go top off fuel and uh, we'll find a fuel station with repairs Ooh, yeah we definitely need to repair it <laughs> So 
So we've got quite the uh, interesting axle setup on this trailer. Anyhow, let's find... Let's see, that's just a... Uh... Oh, that ain't good. I've not seen a repair shop tell Reno. Oh, no, never mind. That's not even... Well, we're just going to have to try and... Well, um... I guess we can see if this thing will let us go, but... I'm pretty sure that's not the, uh... Pretty sure that's supposed to be like a shop or something. That was my bad. I was trying to trying to look for the trailer, and I got way more than the trailer. So let's just watch for traffic here. After this car, we are good to go. There's a garage we can buy. If we had the money. Which we probably do, but... We need to hire some drivers. In the near future, some drivers. And buy some, them some trucks. Yep, yeah, we can't stop on that one. We are going too fast, and we are too close. All right, let's get this thing repaired then. Uh, nope, not upgrades. Leave. Service. So, it would have been over $2,000. But we only got to pay a grand of that. All right, now let's get out of here and get on the road. for our 450 mile journey. Kind of jackknifing a little bit here. Sorry guys. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding. Boy, I am not starting this episode off very well. Not well at all. I promise you guys, I drive a lot better than this normally. <laughs> oh. Just get our Jake break on and ready. Which is a good thing because we need it right now. Zone. All right, let's get on the uh, the old interstate here. start on this hill very well. Maybe we actually don't even have to get out of this lane. Okay, so we gotta pull off up here. We can get rid of 
that one. Let's just take a look at our route here. So we're going to go through Truckee, Reno, Carson City. There we kind of bump out of Nevada. We enter Nevada. We go through Carson City. We exit Nevada a little bit. Come back. Exit again. Come back in. Go through Tonopath. And Tonopath is where we are hauling to. So from Sacramento, California to Tonopath, Nevada. I'm just going to write this down or type this down so that way I know for when I'm editing this video. First ATS vid. Um, let's see, we're hauling soybeans. Sacramento CA2 Tonopath NV There we go. Alright, let's get back to trucking. So we got quite the trip ahead of us. I think we're going to bump that up to 60. We'll go 5 over. I don't know if they clock you for that in the game all the time or not. I know in real life a lot of people drive you know, like 5, five over. And you're okay then. Let's see. Get our trailer lights on. We don't really need them, actually. Better get our hazards on going up this hill. I had to do that on the uh, last load haul in that recycled water. It was, uh, I had a big hill that I was going up, and I was losing speed like crazy and going through gears backwards. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. Definitely needed the flashers on because I was going, I was going maybe like 20 and a 60 or 65 or something like that or 55, whatever the speed limit was. I was going a lot slower than the speed limit, that's for sure. Kind of like now, only that was a bigger hill, and there were more of them. Oops, wrong button. Come on, truck. There we go. We are home free for now. It's all downhill from here. For the most part, anyways. We'll gain enough speed going down right here that we can make it up this next little incline. So let's see what our uh, job details are. So we got uh, 48,501 pounds of soybeans. Uh, they want this there by tonight at 8.14 or by tomorrow morning at 2.54. So it's going to be a close one. Um, we have 14 hours and 55 minutes to get it there. And, uh, whoops. 
and uh, we should make $42,417 off of it so it's a pretty decent price pretty decent haul right here ah we are getting clocked dang it oh well Ah, we were gonna get some fuel. How much fuel we got left? 200 gallons. We've already used 22 gallons since we left uh, the repair shop. There's another gallon, so we'll have to find a gas station on the way, and we'll get some fuel later. For now, we're okay. Good, that way station's on that side. Don't have to worry about stopping. That view is definitely a little weird to drive in. That's more for when you're going at a straightaway. Uh, are we entering Nevada? I don't think we're in Nevada already, are we? Oh, we're getting close. Reset navigation. And yeah, we're getting pretty close to the border, so... Let's switch lanes so we can see the Nevada sign when we hit it. Not literally hit it, but I'm sure some people are like, oh, go figure, you're going to hit the sign. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steep again. So we're going to have to watch out here. Make sure we get our flashers on in time and shift. Oops. Didn't want to put them on yet. So there is the Nevada, Nevada sign, it looks like. Is that, uh. Truck Works. Total Truck Care. Looks like they're closed. Oof. Looks like they had something bad happen there. So are we in Nevada already? We are driving right alongside of the border. Um, so. Good, there's a fuel stop up there. We can do that, and we can check our total weight. Let's so get, uh, get started on Jake and... So it is 260 a gallon. So let's go ahead and get filled up. Huh. Excuse me. $277 in fuel. Okay, let's see the scales over there. Oh, there's actually people in the cars? I did not realize that. And you guys are gonna be jerks. Go figure. We are gonna get pulled up on the scale here. Just wanna weigh ourselves. tight getting in there 
Uh, for ten dollars, sure. Eighty-three six seventy-eight. Hopefully we're not uh, overloaded. I don't know what uh, what the actual like limit is. Uh, if any of you guys are truckers or know stuff about trucking more than I do, I'm sure. Uh, let me know what uh, what your what you can be loaded at max. Like what your uh, max weight capacity can be in a truck. Oh, you're going to be a jerk and stay in that lane, aren't you? Come on, go by me. Uh. AI traffic. What a headache. Let's gotta let the guy go. Oh sweet, we can go 80 now. Oh, 65. Still, that's better than 55. So we got all uh, fueled up, so we are good to go. We get our jake brake turned on because we're gonna have to turn off up here. it's anything too special like where we gotta stop or anything but uh, just want to kind of slow down a little bit going into it it's kind of a goofy corner there we are free to get on the road Cruise set again. I think that uh, this, whatever it is, bug shield or whatever up on the front, I think that's actually causing a little bit of frame rate drops for me. I don't know why. Probably just the chrome on it. I don't know what my actual FPS is right now. It was, I did have it turned on at one point where it showed it, but evidently it decided it's not going to anymore. Oh, we can go 80 now. Sweet. Oops, 80, not 85. Seems like that Bushnell truck was kind of slowing down. See, we are down to... Oh, go figure! use both horns at once. Uh, let's see, we are down to 256 miles, 55 now. Oops. Want F3, not F2. So 
Yes, my uh, <clears throat> my um, zeroed in. I forget what the actual term is for it, but something must be off in the uh, calibration on the steering wheel or something, or in the game, something somewhere that is making it all uh, shaky. Go in this middle lane here because I'm not sure what's going on up here. Must be just curve in the road. But closed. Uh oh. Yep, we gotta go this way. <laughs> well, if it's closed, why did I see a vehicle going? Doesn't make much sense. Whoa, we gotta slow down big time. Goodness. That was crazy. So we are officially in Nevada right now. Come on. Ah, it's not going to give me my cruise. There we go. It's funny, like at some, like if I think it's if you're under 10 miles an hour, it must be you can't set or resume your cruise. It must be 10 miles an hour. Because once I hit 20, it was fine then. Come on, light, turn green. Ah, great, a single lane road. Yeah, somebody's turning, go figure. I was just about to say I hope nobody ends up turning. But, uh, it looks like a few people are. So once we get up to our 70 miles an hour, we should be able to knock off some more miles. We're down to 208. <laughs> and we're at 1734 on the truck. So we're racking up the miles on the truck as well. Still breaking it in though. Ah, I bumped the button on my side panel. Come on, truck, let's build up some speed here. There we 
go. Now we're getting somewhere. But we better slow down here on this corner. the road here Some of these corners are a little sharper than others. That or I just hit them a lot faster than others. All right, we're going to be reducing our speed down to 55. Bump it up to 60, we'll go 5 over. The only bad thing about uh, ATS is, you know, you, you, my recording time will always vary because some loads will be a lot longer than others, and I think for the next video, because once I finish recording this video, oops, I don't want to do that. Once I finish recording this video, I'm gonna record another ATS right away, and um, I think it's just. Uh, It'll be a little nicer just to find a shorter load. You know, like maybe 200 miles or something. Versus upwards of 500 miles. Yeah, it's 20 miles an hour. That's... There we go. <clears throat> That's the, uh... Max speed... Or the minimum speed you can be going. So we have 273 gallons of fuel. And... That'll last us 2,000 miles, so... We should be good on fuel for a while. Really didn't have to fill up when we did, but would rather keep this truck uh, closer to full than closer to empty and forget to fill it. And all of a sudden we're in the middle of nowhere with an empty tank of fuel. Oh, sweet, we can go up to 70 now. One gear too far. I 
See, I'm going to try something a little different here with my videos. I'm going to try, uh... <clears throat> try adding the little, like, card or an annotations or whatever it is at the end of the video. And then add it so, like, you can see the next, the previous two videos or something like that. Set it up kind of... You know, I've never, I've never really messed with, like, cards or annotations. Uh, I really just messed with cards for the first time in um, one of the FS13 videos uh, where I was talking about what kind of bales we should do. I put in a, a poll so that way you could vote uh, for what bale. So uh, I'll have to practice with that kind of stuff a little more because uh, like, I've seen videos where people do that. I've always kind of wondered how they do it and never knew and then just kind of fiddling around in the video editor section and uh, on YouTube and saw those and was like huh I'll have to check those out I think this is a stop sign okay Sorry, Bushnell. <laughs> so we should be almost there. Yep, 68 miles. What? Cops passing us? That's crazy. So yeah, we'll have this there long before, uh, long before they want it, actually, because uh, they don't ex or expect it. I mean, they don't expect it until a quarter after eight, and it says we should be there by 7:30. So, oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get a good chunk of money out of this load, which will be nice. We can pay off a little more loan and. Uh, or hire some new drivers and buy some trucks uh, that's one thing I'd like to get to, uh, get into here pretty soon uh, I did re discover a recruitment agency a while ago I forget where it was though but I think the next time we find a recruitment agency we'll have to pull off and take a look see what kind of drivers they got and see if we can find somebody Wow, it goes up to 80 now. Let's see. We're going to have to turn off and going right, I think, here eventually. Yep. So we want to be in the right lane here. I want to make sure that the Jake brake is on because I know we'll have to slow down at some point. Whether it's through town here or... Well, it's not going to be through town. Don't pull out. <laughs> that would have sucked right there. That would have been very, very bad. I think we would have nearly totaled our truck. Going 60 miles an hour, just all of a sudden a dead stop into a truck. Don't think that would have been very kind to our truck. We'll just kind of hang out at 70 miles an hour for now. 70, 75. Don't need to go the full 80 right now because we'll be turning off up around this bend a little ways. our turn <laughs> uh, and speed reduced down to 70 anyways here so well, we got a little bit w a little bit ways to go yet I guess 
the dead zone that's what I was trying to think of earlier in the video I think the dead zone on the steering wheel is off a little that's why it's kind of shaky like that That's why it's so touchy. It kind of sucks. And here we are. All right, let's see where they'd like this. All right, shouldn't be too hard to park. We got plenty of room and we can whip around, so then we can just back her right in. In fact, I have an idea. Not sure that this idea is going to work or not, but we're going to try it and find out. We'll try not to blow ourselves up. AKA not hitting their fuel fuel tank. Okay. How's it going? Working on their seed drills, it looks like. Must be getting ready for some planting. We're getting ready to put them away. Can't quite tell where we're going right there. Oh. It's a good thing I looked this way when I did. That dang trailer's in the way right there. They got us packed in right here, that's for sure. But that's no worry. Cargo is ready? Uh-uh. <laughs> it's not ready. Okay, now it's ready. Okay, so there we go. That'll do it for this video, guys. So, excellent. So... 17 so we got 42 for 17 they did not give us an extra bonus for being really early hmm took us eight hours just about nine hours pretty much uh, 450 miles 61 gallons of fuel used so gained 621 XP it's pretty cool all right guys that's gonna do it for this video make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as other cool YouTube channels, as well as links to my social media as my mod site and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching, you guys. Have a Merry Christmas week, and uh, as always, we'll see you tomorrow.